I've uh, photographed many things over many long years. I've been into photography for well over 60 years. And over the years I've photographed many different venues, every place in the world, from Antarctica to the North Pole and every place in between. The, uh, when you're photographing insects, of course they can move around and particularly grasshoppers will hop away from you. So I learned from another wildlife photographer that if you want to get a close-up picture of a grasshopper, the best way is to cool them off. So I caught them, uh, put them in a jar with a little branch of a tree, and um, waited till he got up on there, and then put the whole thing in the refrigerator overnight. Cooled them off, and he was, when a grasshopper gets cold, he just sits there. So the next day I brought him out and, and uh, photographed him and I could set him up in the studio, studio lighting, view camera, and uh, uh, was able to uh, move in close to him. And then shoot fast though, because as soon as he warmed up, he hopped away. Well, when you look at a bug, it's um, or a small, very small creature, you sort of see the whole thing and what the whole thing is doing. But when you take a picture of it and then enlarge it, for instance, that uh, picture of the hummingbird at the feeder, uh, I've enlarged to 13 by 19 inches, so I got a very large picture of it. You can see all the little details in it. The same with the chipmunk drinking out of the, uh, drinking out of the bird feeder. Um, you can see all the little whiskers, every little hair, and uh, all sorts of little features that you can't see with the naked eye. You can, can't get close to them. So having a photograph, enlarging the photograph, you can see a lot of details that you'd never see with the naked eye. Yes, that's my son. He caught this. Uh, we were we lived in Germany at the time. We were in the Air Force, and he found this um, snail. I guess the snail is actually about that big around, big, big snail compared to the ones that we see around here. And uh, brought it home, and I thought, boy, let's try and get a photograph of that. So uh, a broomstick, the blue broomstick. We put the snail on it and he held it up like that and he was looking at it and I shot some pictures of it. And that's the theme of the story, getting up close. That's my son, Tim. By the way, he's about 45 years old now. I think right now the thing I enjoy most uh, about the photographs that I make are showing them to other people and uh, enjoying having other people look at them. Mm -hmm.